The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the July 9th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what the buyers and the sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more importantly than that, during this next hour, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, I've got you covered. Just send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tigers Den. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Les Show. Right now, the Dow off 82 points, S&P down 2, NASDAQ 100 up 25 points, Russell's off 4, Semis are up 4, so we've got a mixed market out here. Spot volatility X trading out at 1408, still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. Gold is off 70 cents, trading out at 1399. Silver's up 7 pennies, light sweet crude, 30 cents to the upside, leading the charge the upside. Dollar-wise, Amazon up 1.5% or nearly $30. Um, Acacia Communications, I think there's a buyout or so. That's up 35%. Sage Therapeutics up 9 Lindsay Corp up 8 uh, To the downside, Trans Digim Group, TDG, that's off 2.25% or nearly 11 bucks. Pool Corporation off nearly 5%, nearly $9. Metafast off 6 uh, and change. That's 5% to the downside. So where do we begin our day? Let's begin our day with the levels that we want to be watching. So, uh, and really kind of an update for subscribers. The update this morning was, hey, even though futures were trading lower, what we knew was on a short-term basis, and our short-term signals, both on the 30, the uh, 60, and even a couple of the 120-minute charts were generating bottoming signals. That's one of the beauties of being a Mastering Probability subscriber. That way, at 7 o'clock in the morning, you can plan your day. And at this stage here, what we said was we should anticipate a bounce up to the 29.79.50 level. That's this little solid green line out here. You can see how price basically is struggling there. That is the point, price point, where the ES Mini most recently broke down. So if price can close over 29.79.50, price should rise to the next breakdown level, and that's about 29.92.50. It's not about, it is at 29.92.50. First things first, Price is up at resistance, 29.79.50. It's in the process of trying to make a TD setup nine count out here. Uh, you are in bar number eight. Uh, you haven't made a higher high bar wise over the last half hour, but that could take place on bar number nine. So that would be the 130 bar, or it could be the uh, two to 230 bar out there. Uh, and if price closes under 29.79.50, that's a dangerous thing. When I say dangerous, you get the uh, topping signal below resistance or the break breakdown level out there. So you'll want to watch 29.79.50. I don't recall if on the 60 minute, but we'll take a quick peek if that number is exactly the same. Uh, 29.79 and a quarter, that's close enough for me. We can see the same type of signals or patterns that are going on here. The bottom that was made on the hourly chart was a, a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom as well, that T, as well as the TD setup nine count. So you had a twofer going on out there. Price again up at this resistance level. Now the two hour or the one hour time frame chart says, hey, you close above
above 29.79 and a quarter on an hourly basis, you're back up to the 3,375 area. That's where price broke down prior to this 29.79 area. Now, if we just simply go take a look at what's going on on the two-hour time frame chart for the ES Mini, what you're going to see is a beautiful, a gorgeous, a Gartley buy pattern out here. Now, that pattern actually formed this morning. Uh, the confirmation came in at about 8 o'clock this morning, um, shortly after the uh, newsletter was sent out. So on a 30-minute, on a 60-minute, on a two-hour time frame for the ES Mini. For those of you maybe that were out there saying, hey, man, futures are done. I'm going to jump on it and go short. Learn these patterns. Learn these patterns patterns because what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to take that kind of uh, uh, for all we're doing here is trading the numbers really just trading the patterns the numbers would be the TD setup levels and then the breakdown and resistance areas out here so on the 120 minute time frame we know that all Gartley buy patterns have five potential outcomes out here right now let's just say that the current outcome would suggest a price move to 29.8950 so let's summarize this and put it all together for you you're just simply going to be watching the price point of 29.79 and a quarter we see a close above that at 2 o'clock, by 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock out there. Then you want to anticipate a move up to 29.8950. Hey, I'll be able to update you on this um, because I'm going to do the uh, show filling for Tom today from uh, 3 to 4. So we'll be able to take a look at that. But that's what's going on in the markets. Market was signaling to you what its intent was this morning out here. And uh, that is a beautiful thing. Now, We've got that to figure out. And by the way, the same patterns were underway inside of the NQ and the Dow and the Russell 2000. We don't need to go through those at this stage out here. But it's always a beautiful thing when, and this is the tool here. The tool is going to show different information right now because of we've been trading for several hours. But it's always a wonderful thing to sit down at in the, in the captain's chair Let's see what the futures markets are doing. Of course, I already know what they're doing before I get down to the captain's chair. But what I don't know is what patterns are present. So it makes it so much easier for me to just look at this. This is the short-term signal. If markets are going to turn or at least create counter-trend rallies, uh, whether it's to the upside or to the downside out here, it's just a beautiful thing to be able to sit down and take a look at the dials and see if there are bottoming signals that are present, as they were this morning. So here's what we know right now. Price is up at resistance, but we want, and we know the level to watch. We know if price breaks above that area, then we know where price is likely headed to. Let's say, though, in this instance, let's say that price peters out, so to speak, out there. It just simply stalls. We start to see, in other words, the counter trend rally that we've seen so far is over. That is a possibility. Then what are we going to be watching for? What we're going to watch for would be support other levels of support or key levels of support and those happen to be the bottom of the daily boxes when we did the show yesterday morning we taped it between eight and nine there were new profiles that were attempting to form we were using stevie's advanced doppler warning system with regard to market profiles uh, they have taken hold now i won't be here tomorrow thursday or friday and these numbers are likely good until then you'll want to pay attention to these you close below the bottom of those boxes since you have a change in trend to the downside, close above the top, the bull market lives on for another day. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $197 a month with the risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hopefully uh, we're good. Hopefully you can give me the high sign out there. Sorry for that. No idea. No, no bathroom break out there, but um, hopefully we're good. Got it. Okay. Thanks, Tommy. All right. So folks, let's get back to the markets. Before we went to the break out there, what we were looking at were the uh, ES Mini, the NQ, the Dow, uh, and the Russell 2000 equity futures contract. So I want to be able to give you the numbers to focus on uh, for the rest of the week out here. These are support and resistance levels. So inside the ES Mini, it's 29.8775. The bottom, 29.51. Those are the levels you want to watch. A close below 29.51 would suggest a change in trend. A close above 29.87 um, would just say that the uh, the bull run continues out here. Inside the NQ, you're looking at 78.8040. You're looking at that's the upside. Downside, excuse me, 76.45. In the Dow Equity Futures contract, you're looking at 26,952 to the upside, being resistance to the downside, 26,501. Now, when we take a look at these profiles, it happens to be the Dow Equity Futures contract, panel number three, the YM, where the structure of that box is uh, bullish. So I would say that that's the most important one to indicate whether there's a change in trend or not. In other words, support should hold. There's buyers lined up between the price point of 26.614 and 26.501. If that fails, well, and, and actually the, yeah, it's, it's a clear bullish structured profile in the Dow. The ES, 
yeah, sorta, maybe. Um, the NQ actually, you'd watch 78, 80, 40 because it's a bearish structured box. So close above that tells you just simply how strong that market is. Now the Russell 2000, a very wide box out there. You can see the top of that box at 1586 and the bottom at 1527. Also a bullish structured profile out there. But those would be the levels that we would be watching out there. That's what you should watch tomorrow, Wednesday. Thursday and Friday out there. With regard to the overall general message of the market, if we're going to go ahead and take that from the uh, da, from the New York Stock Exchange, actually we're going to do two things. I'm kind of multitasking here. Um, should have done this earlier. Doesn't matter. I'm going to do it now. But inside the New York Stock Exchange, at the chart that you are looking at, if you take a look at panel number two, the center panel there, you're going to see reading of 1.17. Uh, that is referring to or dealing with the advanced decline oscillator. Again, the difference between the 19 and 39 day exponential moving averages of the advanced decline line. I know it's a mouthful. It's just a mouthful. But right now, what's important is that it is still above zero, 1.42, as we take a look at it right now. The spot volatility is down below the 50-day exponential moving average. That number that you want to watch, it'll change slightly. But for the most part, use 15 and a quarter. We're trading at 14.11 right now. Um, as long as price remains below the 50-day exponential moving average, the signal there is plenty of liquidity inside the marketplace. Now, the thing that I was going to do, which we're doing right now, um, another market breadth feature would be taking a look at the NDX 100. Let's look at the daily chart. Still in bullish configuration, meaning that more stocks inside the NDX 109, I think there's 109 stocks there, well, 37 to be specific, are trading above the top of their profile. Just as you and I were taking a look at the profiles for the daily equity futures contract, you trade below the bottom, support has failed. You trade above the top, resistance has failed. Bullish versus bearish, directionally speaking out there. Well, more stocks, meaning 37 versus 13, are trading above the top of their box versus the bottom. In the consolidation mode, so to speak, in between, you've got 51 uh, stocks out there inside the NDX 100. That's on a daily basis. The weekly is, uh, you know, very bullish out here. 52 stocks, by the way, above the weekly profile, only seven below the bottom. Now, let's go take a look at the S&P 500. Let's do that for the S&P uh, here is the S&P 500. This is the 60-minute chart. We don't care about it. Not that we don't care, but we're not as interested in that. This, too, also has positive market breadth, meaning nearly 200 issues, 198 to be exact, are traded above the top of the box versus 77 below. So what does this say from a market breadth standpoint? Well, we took a look at the New York Stock Exchange. Here, here's the weekly, by the way, we which is positive as long as that advanced decline oscillator remains above zero. Um, we took a look at the NDX 100, market breadth positive, uh, trading with inside the profiles, and the S&P uh, market breadth positive as well out there. So, um, so that's uh, it's 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 bullish. Be careful on the bearish bet, so to speak. Um, you've got to have some type of real topping pattern out there. Sure, want to close this application? Yeah, I want to close it. Um, and one of those things would be paying attention to the spot volatility index. If it is trading above the 50-day, well, I can guarantee you that the, oh, I can't guarantee it, but I pretty much guarantee uh, that the prices trade, that the advanced client oscillator reading would be below zero. But right now, just simply out at the support level. So those are the things I would be watching. There will be the things I'll be watching um, while away. These are the things that you'll be able to watch as well uh, during the uh, well during your day or the one the two o'clock hour out there. If we take a look at what's going on horizontal trading ranges out here. We take a look at the ES mini uh, trading below resistance. Resistance being the uh, daily uh, horizontal trading range at 29.91. So any close above that is nice. Support would be the uh, monthly. That's at 29.29. You don't have to worry about those levels until we see what happens with regard to those market profiles. If we take a look at the Dow equity futures contract, it's also trading below its daily horizontal trading range. That's at 26.882. 26, um, and it's weekly. 
Uh, its weekly support level will be 26,437. So kind of in between out there. If you take a look at the NQ, uh, the NQ found support earlier overnight uh, right at the uh, monthly horizontal trading range level at 77.41 has since bounced off of that. A close above 78.64 suggests higher price. By the way, if the NQ can bust above the top of its a profile. Remember, it's a bearish structured profile out there. Uh, then what we'd be looking at is a, a potential run up to 8080. 8080. We're trading at 7834 out there. So those would be the numbers to be focused on and to be paying attention to. So right now we got the Dow trading down 78 points. S&P's up to NDX 100 up 27 points out there. Apple, by the way, uh, formed a new market profile today. Let's put that up here for you. The bottom of that box is 197.85. The top, 203.47. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Hey, I want to hear from you. Just send me an email. Steve at TFNN.com. Just put a radio show question in that subject heading, and we'll answer your question as best we can. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So we got a request to go take a look at uh, Goldilocks trading up uh, 14, trading at 1400.60. That's up 60 cents today. So here's what we know about uh, gold. Well, there's a couple things. There's several things that we know about Goldilocks. First of all, support is held. Uh, we've seen support uh, test. Be, we've seen support tested uh, the last two out of three trading sessions. That number is 1392.50. Now, granted, price has broken through that level, but managed to. It's not really all about the end of day reading out here. That's weird. Uh, it's really all about the end of day reading or the close, I should say, versus interest session what's taken place. But at this stage here, our price has held support um, and uh, we have price just simply consolidating in essence between the top of the profile 1432.80 and 1392.50. If there's a close below 1392.50 for two days in a row, I'm going to go two days in a row. The reason why I say that is because on July 1st, we had a close below, but the very next day, price popped right back above it. So it was a false breakout to the downside. So if you see a close below and then follow through the following trading session, well, there's your indication of a change in trend. It's not just that. You see, support and resistance are real for Stevie. And, and I would say for you, too, are really key. They're especially key when we see bottom or topping signals out there. In this case here, with regard to gold, we've got topping signals all over the place. Yeah, all over the place. As the choir would say, we've got topping signals in gold all over the place. So if you take a look at this chart, you're probably tired of taking a look at it. But here we've got the continuous contract. Those dashed yellow lines are your long-term resistance areas, 1434, even Stephen being one of those levels. Price was unable to break above that. Uh, there is the possibility, good possibility, uh, that price uh, pulls all the way back into the 1200 range out here. This is the bigger picture into the 1215-ish, 1220-ish range out there. Now, that was the long-term chart. The weekly chart, as you know, for gold uh, shows a a to B equals CD to the upside, a completed pattern completed because of the shooting star candle two weeks ago and then last week's close below that shooting star out here. That suggests that a minimum we see a price pull back to the 1359 level, uh, but I would have to say that this, this is actually a Gartley sell pattern on a weekly basis that is in place. It's another reason to be very, very cautious Goldilocks. If we take a look at the daily time frame out here, you've got your TD setup nine count pattern. Uh, that is a topping signal. That's why this 1392. Now, any topping pattern, uh, you're always looking for support because it may just simply be nothing more than a retracement to support. And so, yes, inside of gold, you've got nothing more than a retracement back to support. But knocking on the door is 1392.50. <clears throat> If you see a close below that, if you see a close below that, two closes below that, rest assured, you're looking at 1336.60 as the next level of support. That's where gold broke out. That's a TD setup uh, count line. And below that, 1272.10, I think more likely than not, that is where gold is headed to. So topping patterns all over the place, every time frame, monthly, daily, and weekly out there, just simply be careful because you don't have the shorting signal as we speak just yet. Uh, but a close below 1392.50 would be it. So uh, gold 25, hope that helps you out with regard to what gold is uh, doing. Now, gold this morning was making one of those roads momentum indicator bottom signals out here, just as the equity markets were as well. I don't have a, uh, a resistance line out here on a 60-minute chart really to pay attention to. I also don't have it on a... Uh, on a 30-minute chart or even a, uh, well, if I take a look at the 30-minute chart, let's, I, I, I take that back. I take that back. Gold is trading above that resistance level. That was at 1397.40 out here. But what, what gold may be doing on a short-term base, 30-minute basis, it may be forming a TD setup nine count. That could occur within the next um, seven, eight, nine, within the next two hours. Here at 1.30 right now. So maybe by 3.30, maybe we'll have some more information when I do Tom's show between 3 and 3.30 on a 30-minute basis to see if, in fact, that topping signal comes into 
play out there. Now, with regard to the equity futures contracts out there, I think we covered it, but if not, I, we, did, we looked at the ES mini, if you take a look at the NQ. Um, this looks like it may be also setting up that uh, TD setback. Yeah, we, we talked about that. So it's something to also be watching during the next uh, hour or so out there in the equity futures market. So let me take a quick peek, see if there is any questions that have come in. And if not, um, we'll try to figure out what to do next. So we're going to try to figure out what to do next. Now, what do we want to look at next? That's going to be pertinent to you. That's going to be pertinent to you. What would that be? Um, Treasury bonds. Let's go to copper. All right. You want to take a look at copper? We can go take a look at Dr. Copper out here. So as we go take a look at the uh, copper contract, uh, we're looking at we're looking at July. Nah, can't be. Can't be. What's the current copper contract out there? Let me take a quick peek here on my uh, handy dandy phone. I think I've got it uh, listed right here. So uh, copper is September. There we go. Kind of made sense. So let's go change this so that we're looking at the right thing out here. And so as we take a look at the September contract for copper, uh, we're going to see it's trading out at 262. Let's go see if we can get some profiles. It's trading below the bottom of the uh, box profile wise. Not a good thing. The bottom of that profile out here is uh, 22.66. Four nine, you're trading at two point six two seven. So what are we watching? Let me see. Um, let me see if I may have the September contract on my other system out here. If not, what we're going to do is I'll put up the continuous contract. So just give me a second there. Do I have got September? Okay, so that's good news. So we're just going to see if there's any counts or uh, any other type of bottom signal that is going on as we speak right now. As we look at the daily time frame chart, what's a daily telling us? Daily is telling us that 2.6435, to be exact, should have held the support and you're trading below that right now. So that's not a good thing there, gold 25, would suggest lower price. Could be a gigantic A to B equals CD to the downside. But let's, uh, let's not stop there. Let's look at the longer term chart. By longer term chart, let me just take a look at the weekly. Oh, by the way, price is trading below the weekly, the weekly TAS level. Yeah, I said daily earlier. So on a weekly basis, the key level out here, gold, this is what we're going to go with is 2.6165. That is a key level of support if there's a close below. So in other words, price has just pulled back on a weekly basis, an intermediate time frame to support. Uh, there's no buy. There's no buy signal out here. Uh, when we looked at the daily chart, there was nothing there to suggest that uh, there was a bottom. So maybe price is going to trade sideways out here for a few days. But below 2.6165 uh, says at least you head back into the August uh, uh, 2018 levels of 2.5520 out there. That's in looking at the September contract for Dr. Copper. On a monthly basis out here, what do we have going on inside of uh, Copper? Not much. Not much. Um, it does say when we look at the uh, monthly chart out here, uh, you close below that weekly breakout area. Man, you could easily see copper back in the buck 94 level. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Hey, I want to hear from you. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, we got the dial off 70 points. S&P is down one. NASDAQ 132 points as we uh, speak. Uh, no questions. Uh, no questions yet inside the uh, uh, from an email standpoint. Hey, it is summertime. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody's having a, a great uh, summer uh, vacation. And um, but let's continue on with the uh, markets out there. So what, what else should we be taking a peek at? What else can I provide you information on? So if we take a look at the 30-year Treasury, the 30-year Treasury generated a, a topping pattern out here. Uh, so what you're going to want to watch, and I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll pull up the actual contract itself. Uh, and when I say a topping pattern, a road momentum indicator topping uh, signal, we've seen a couple of them that have occurred along the way as prices have been trading sideways. We've actually seen uh, two. So maybe the third time is the charm. That was the key reversal session from last Friday. But what price hasn't done is price has not broken down through support out here. Let me um, do this. Uh, let me come back here so we can take a look at multiple time frame support uh, for the 30 year. Let me uh, type this in here and uh, take a, a quick peek. So here on the, uh, we should get the daily and the weekly. Well, we're going to get the daily. Now we're going to get the daily and the weekly. So here's the numbers to be watching. Now, this is a bullish structured daily profile out at 153 and 22, 30 seconds out there. That's going to be a key level of support. If that level should fail, if that level should fail, then we should see price make its way down to 151 and a quarter. Uh, out there, 25, 30 seconds, really what I should say. And um, uh, and that, that, that's the game. So you've got topping signals out here on the uh, daily time frame. Um, with regard to what's going on short term wise, if we take a look at a 6120 five hour time frame, nothing breaking out, just simply sideways action out here. If I take a look at support and resistance lines on a 30 minute time frame out here, price would need to close above 155 and 13. Uh, 30 seconds in order to suggest that it wants higher price out here. Uh, we've seen a sideways move ever since this little TD setup nine count from about four o'clock this morning. So just just an additional message of this consolidation. But we do on a daily basis have a topping pattern. The key, though, will be 
can sellers push price down below 153 and 22 30 seconds out there all right so we got that out of the way now let's take a look at light speed crude what what can i share with you with regard to light speed crude i don't know but let's go take a look at it uh light speed crude if we look at uh, where price is trading within or above or below it's trading within its daily profile the top of the box or resistance is 59.93 the bottom is 56.07 so just simply trading sideways there um no other real message out here uh, did go what what did we do what did what did what 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 that's the question uh let me uh c l o eight um let me go ahead and uh, see when price bottomed out here recently a couple weeks ago was there any pattern yeah it was a td setup nine count pattern the uh, june 5th low was that uh, was that pattern out here and then you got a td setup nine count pattern that identified the most recent high it did that on july the first out there so right now price is trading above stevie's red line 56.70 so no problem on a daily basis you got resistance 59.93 out here uh, if price breaks to the upside the breakdown level to be watching would be 63.02 the breakout level to be watching for light sweet crude is 51.72. Those would be the numbers. Write them down on your pad of paper to assist you with what uh, light sweet crude Texas tea is uh, doing out there. Okay, so we got that done and out of the uh, way. What else do we want to look at? U.S. dollar index. Anybody up for the U.S. dollar index? Trade out 97.06. Of course, there's a 10 minute delay that I've got on my feed. Um, here, what we've got, you had an A to B equals CD to the downside that completed. So it was a Gartley buy pattern inside the U.S. dollar index. All Gartley buy patterns have five, count them, five potential outcomes. Well, outcome number three, outcome number three, I'll get it out, don't worry about it, was hit earlier this morning. And that's the point seven eight six retracement. You'll see if you're watching us on Tiger TV, you'll see the retracement levels from the high to the low. That high to the low was the A to B equals CD pattern. In essence, that was the Gartley buy pattern that was out there. Uh, level number one was the point three eight two. Excuse me, didn't mean to spit on you. I didn't spit on you, but spit on my screen. Gross. In any event out there, uh, the 0.382 retracement at 96.26, that was outcome number one. Of course, we know that was hit with a wide-ranging bar. You hit it with a wide-ranging bar, what does it tell you? They're likely not to stop there. Let some people off that 0.382 elevator, continue to move higher. As it moved higher, did it with another wide-ranging bar. The wide-ranging bar going into outcome number two, outcome number two being the 0.618 retracement area, and that's at 96.81. Doesn't stop there. Where's the U.S. dollar index go to? Well, this morning, it's 97.21. The actual high today was not 97.21. It was 97.19. That's pretty darn close to me. So now, no wide-ranging bar coming into that level, but uh, no reversal as we speak just yet. Uh, and so outcome number four would be getting up to the 100% move of move the prior swing point where the A began for the A to B equals CD. That's 97.71. Beyond that would be an A to B equals CD at the upside. We don't need to go there just yet. Uh, outcome number three has been hit. Any move above 97.21, anticipate 97.71 as your next stop to the upside. Okay. What do we want to look at next out here? I'm saving the indices, the cash indices, you know, and I do Tom show from three to four. Four. What I don't want to do is do a repeat, in essence, of this hour, although there will be different listeners, so we'll repeat some things. But what we'll do during that hour is we'll take a look at the cash indices and, of course, anything that you would like to as well. So I'm kind of shying away from that during this next, uh, we've got about a minute, uh, 20 seconds or so, and then we've got our two-minute wrap out there. So let's go take a look at some some uh, individual stocks moving to the downside. Let's start with Transdigim Group, TDG. Let's go see what it is doing out here uh, trading slightly lower but below the bottom of its daily profile which is 488 um, that would suggest that price could move down into 464 level next out here doesn't really look too shabby tdg but let's go see how it made its high out here was there any kind of pattern that was going on in the daily time frame so as we go ahead and we expand that chart we're going to see the answer there is no there was no pattern out here um, to have suggested 
a uh, top, not traditional topping signals like you and I would look for. So then that just says we've got a default. Now, I do, I do take that back. That was the daily time frame. If we do take a look at the weekly time frame, while price had been moving higher, doing less relative energy, you've got that little bearish reversal signal on June 28th. You've got another one potentially this week. It's only Tuesday, uh, but right now you get a little bearish ash candle. Four, we'll stick with our call. 464, 64. And below that would be the bottom of that weekly profile, 444.38. That's what's going on in the world of trans digim. Ticker symbol there, T D. G. So we get back from this break. Right now we got the Dow off 72, S and P down one. We'll figure out what to do for our two-minute wrap. And thanks so much for being here. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So, uh, you know, the things to really be watching during the uh, week. Here's here's really the issue, uh, the issue as I see them, the issues as I see them. If we take a look at the daily chart here for the ES Mini, no no real topping pattern that is in play. What we've seen here over the past couple of days, it may just be a knee-jerk reaction out here with the move lower, prices testing Stevie's green line. We've also got that daily profile, 29.51. I'm willing to change my mind 
mind or the market could change my mind that there's something else going on if price were to close below the bottom of that box at 29.51. But until it does so, um, this is just a normal kind of uh, little, uh, you know, Texas two-step, two excuse me, uh, if you will, to the to the downside. So uh, watch the spot volatility index. Watch that 29.51 level. Uh, those would be nice clues for you over the coming uh, trading sessions out here inside the NQ. Price has also, in essence, done the same thing. Pulled back to Stevie's green line. It has tested that. That's at 77.94. Price still trading in between the profiles, but a close above 78.80, as we said, would be very bullish. That's not exceeding the high, by the way, of Friday. That's above the top of the uh, box out there, bearish structured box. That would say, okay, that would be fairly bullish out here. But as we speak right now, at 1.55 in the afternoon, the stock charts for the ES and NQ are bullish. If we take a look at the uh, Dow, the Dow is struggling a bit. It's trading below Stevie's. Green line at 26.784. It would need to close below 26.501 in order for anybody's skirt to get into a, a tizzy out there. So you've just got this sideways ish move, but no topping signal per se inside the Dow Equity Futures contract. And as we take a look at the Russell 2000, price testing and rejecting thus far Stevie's green line that was red not too many trading sessions ago. This is a bullish test. However, Price must close about 1586 in order to get back to its bullish ways. And below 1527 would be back to its bearish ways. So, folks, have a uh, great uh, rest of your Tuesday. I'll be back uh, on Monday at the traditional time between 1 and 2. So we'll look forward to seeing you then. Take care.